Hey there, fellow auto enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of ECU programming with the AlienTech KES V3. Ever wondered how to read the Continental SID310 ECU with this powerful tool? Well, you're in luck because we've got the step-by-step -step guide right here. The AlienTech KES V3 ECU programmer is a beast when it comes to reading ECUs from various car brands like Renault, Nissan, Dacia, Infiniti, Mercedes-Benz, and Opel, including the elusive Continental SID310. And guess what? You can do it both via OBD and boot modes. Sounds exciting, right? Let's get into the nitty-gritty. First off, it's essential to have the Alien Tech Suite software handy. Once you've got that sorted, follow these simple steps. 1. Connect your KES V3 and computer via USB cable. 2. Fire up the Alien Tech Suite software. 3. Input SID310 in the search box to quickly find your specific model, like the Nissan Navara D231, 2015. 4. Select the corresponding model and proceed to the next page. 5. Choose boot mode for reading the ECU. Now, here comes the fun part, the main operation guide. 1. Remove the ECU from the vehicle. 2. Open up the ECU. 3. Reconnect the ECU to the vehicle and start the engine to ensure it's still in working order. 4. Remove the ECU from the vehicle again. 5. Connect it to the KES V3. 6. Select Identify ECU in the Programming menu for correct recognition. 7. Always make a full backup of the ECU. 8. Proceed with reading or writing as needed. For the connection, you've got a few options. Bench Power Supply 1400K 3 alum. Multi-wire cable, 144300KBNC. Extensions for multi-wire cable, 144300KTR. Here's a quick rundown of the pinout. Pin G1 equals VQ, red. Pin D1 equals VKEY, orange. Pin G3 equals GND, black. Pin A4 equals can H, white. Pin A3 equals can L, green. Now, on to the steps. Step 1. Read ECU password via OBD protocol. Connect the power box and SID310 ECU with the multi-wire cable correctly. Then hook up the KES V3 ECU programmer and power box via the OBD cable. Disconnect the power supply to KSS3 and connect it to the power box. Voila! Password successfully read. Step 2. Identify ECU and red ECU. Remove all wiring and power supply, then solder boot mode pins. Follow the KES V3 procedure to connect the wiring and boot mode pins. Finally, connect the power supply to the KES 3 ECU programmer, and you're ready to identify and read the ECU backup. Easy peasy. And there you have it, folks. With the AlienTech KES V3, reading the Continental SID 310 ECU is a breeze. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting automotive content. And for all your automotive needs and updates, visit our channel. Until next time, happy tinkering!